<clears throat> Greetings, beloveds. The wisdom of understanding that you and you alone create every aspect of your experience of life. That wisdom gives you the keys. It gives you the direction with which to bring yourself to the point of atonement, to the point of ascension, to recognizing that every desire that you have and then every intention that is created for that desire to manifest and then every moment of allowance and every moment of acceptance that entire cycle beloveds is within your power to determine i have spoken at length about desire what it is that you desire is born of an impetus within you to be as God created you. Now, there may be a desire for you to eat excessively or to drink excessively or to sex excessively or to gamble excessively or to spend excessively or to take drugs excessively. These are desires, beloveds, that are born of the ego that is attempting to protect something that needs no protection. So you must be able to discern the difference between the two. You must be able to determine for yourselves that which is truth and that which is illusion. And that is done by coming into alignment with the heart and the will and the mind of God. And that is done through silence and meditation. For see, one begets another. So when you can bring yourself to the silence within your heart, you can thus allow yourself to experience the connection, the wholeness, and the oneness that you are in divine relationship. And this is where the miracle occurs. For you allow yourself to see all that you have created within your mind by saying that something is a certain way, someone is a certain way, and you either agree with it or you disagree with it. It happens with sports. It happens with politics. It happens with relationships, beloveds. But understand that you are the key determining factor in every one of these relationships. The sooner that you bring yourself back into the alignment with thinking with the mind of God, with saying, what would you have me do? So that it is not a choice that you are making of your own volition, but it is something where you have surrendered yourself to see what is the will of God? What is it that I'm able to think with the mind of God? Here you find your freedom and here you find your happiness and here you find your joy for what it is that God wills for you <laughs> is pure love and happiness. You think that God wills you to be happy. God wills you to be God. God wills you to be you. And you are inherently happy. You are inherently joyful. You are inherently beloved. So allow yourself to find that truth within you. What you heal within you when you think within the mind of God has such far reaching effects. The lessons stated that disease will mask the truth. When you seek out the truth, beloveds, and when you find the truth, any sense of disease within the body or within the mind or within the heart will be vanished, will be vanquished, and will disappear. For only the truth of you is ultimately what will be revealed to you. And the journey is yours, beloved one, to determine how long that journey will take. Long until you say, let me act in accordance with what it is that God wants of me. Let me act in accordance with God's will. And you ask yourself when you come upon one that you have found less 
than loving. How can I possibly love you more? God, show me, Holy Spirit, show me how I can see the goodness in this person. Show me how I can see the kindness in this person. Show me how I can see the innocence within this person. Show me how to be neutral within this circumstance. Show me how to love anew. As if I had no history, as if I had no evidence why this is a bad person, why this is a wrong person. As if there were no judgments and there were no prejudice. Show me how to love through the eyes of innocence. Holy Spirit, show me how to love as God loves. Allow me to be a vessel, allow me to be a vehicle for divine love. Show me, show me love. And there you will find the peace, the peace that exists within, as well as the peace that exists in your perception as well as external to you. None of this is happening on the outside, beloveds. It is all an inside job. And when you come to realize that, when you stop pointing fingers and saying, this person did this to me, and this person did that to me, and my childhood was bereft with this, and I was abused, and I was beaten, and I was molested, and I was... All of that noise comes to this moment of quiet solitude and you realize that you are indeed as God created you. And everything that you see and everything that you know and everything that you experience has been by your choice and volition. And in that moment, beloveds, it all comes together in a divine moment of revelation that you are a Christ of being. And there you find your freedom. When you take responsibility for all of it, when you realize that the entire world exists within you, that you are the world, you will find freedom and you will find love and you will find pleasure beyond imagination. And you will find me there, cheering you on, welcoming you home. You are well on this way, beloveds. This is the journey of love. This is the way, pathway of mastery. And it all begins with your heart. So allow your hearts to forgive yourself for thinking that the world was anything other than your own creation. And in that divinity, you will find the truth. And in that truth, you will find the light. And when you find the light, you will find yourself and you will find that you are indeed as God created you. I'm with you on this journey, beloved, always and forever. You have my blessings. Reach out for me. I am here with you. Always. And I will speak with you again. Ooh.